Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does Arib do exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Selwyn is dead. His lies poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and position. I'm sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. You did more than enough. Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A peasant's clothes. Strange discovery in a churchyard. A stranger comes to Wimber. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they make God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. What about the Bishop Aylfirth? Did you dig his grave? No, no. I don't bury a lord in a pauper's husk. Poor Layoff. They showed him their gleaming blade. Someone heard your friend Layoff? Yes, yes. And 
while he slept. They stole his face. Did you know Bishop Alpha? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Aelfeth, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are... Uh... Sleeping. Oh, perfect, yes. Eternal bliss. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Aelfeth? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once heard them quarreling at a Witten. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. I'm sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. More than a sister should. Are we friends now? Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guard! Protect me! Picked up our trail. Hold on. <laughs> His face is burned, and his clothes do not seem to fit his frail body. It could be Wemba's friend. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aelfirth was a brute. Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where's your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool.
picked up our trail. Hold on. his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf. Is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us.
Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. You, Dane. My brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Picked up our trail. Hold on. If Aelfer's sister spoke true, I will find answers in the ruins. First secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. to get on the other side.
Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Our Hold on. Be careful now. Stay down. No. Hold on. Sit TV edit Ipse Benedictus. Non vive in ignorance. We bring Christ's blessing. Oh, the Lord is on this. Tales of the attack. Together, lads, we have this. Ecto hominum quale
picked up our trail. Hold on. The Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him. But I've never felt as much love for his god. Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean? You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence comes for you now. This could come in very handy. These will come in very handy. Until next we meet. I must be on my way now. Goodbye.
Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred. Picked up our trail. Hold on. I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here.
intended to use it. Please. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse. Defaced, with scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For silver with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet! Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? 
Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh, no. Now you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your Jarl, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure! Chaos will... As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Not defer to those wiser than yourself. My judgment stands. Thirty times the sailcloth's value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. <laughs> 